Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about 10 largest and busiest airport in Africa. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Air travel is still one of the best things that has ever happened to humanity since it connects countries to the rest of the world. Furthermore, it is more accessible and affordable in 2021 than it was previously. Hundreds of millions of travelers from all over the world use various lively post-modern landing strips throughout Africa each year. What is the total number of international airports in Africa? There are roughly 46 global standard airfields and 431 national standard airfields. Most airfields on the continent are small airstrips that serve local flights. The few large international airports, on the other hand, are doing an excellent job of serving millions of passengers each year. Here are the 10 largest and busiest airport in Africa. Number 10. Tunis Carthage International Airport. Tunis Carthage International Airport, located in Tunisia's capital city and west of the old Carthage city, can accommodate around 6,200,000 people per year, ranking it as the continent's 10th busiest airport. It was built in 1920 and served as the headquarters and command control base for the 12th Air Force of the United States Air Force during the Italian campaign of 1943. Number 9. Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Nigeria. Murtala Mohammed International Airport, located in Ikeja, Lagos, is a premier landing strip. Murtala Ramat Mohammed, the former head of state, was honored with the facility, which was built during World War II. Murtala Mohammed is home to AIG Air and Air Nigeria, the state's main carriers, as well as 30 additional commercial and cargo planes. By Courtney Aviation Services manages and operates it. The annual number of travelers who pass through the facility is estimated to be over 6,500,000. Number 8. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Kenya. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is Kenya's largest and busiest airport, located 15 kilometers from Nairobi's central business district. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport flies to more than 50 destinations throughout the world on a regular basis. Mzi Jomo Kenyatta, the country's first president and former prime minister, was honored with the name. Plans for the airport date back to 1945. It was feared that the existing airport at Eastleigh would not be enough for post-war passenger airliners. Opting for a new airport rather refurbishing Eastleigh took planners eight years. The airport's plans were drawn up in 1953, construction began in January 1954, and by mid-1957, it was decided to open in mid-March 1958. Before the runway could be developed, various challenges, mostly of a civil engineering type had to be overcome. The airport was built mostly with forced labor, many of whom were Mau Mau rebels. Due to the immense pressure to construct the airport and the quantity of labor required, it was not uncommon for workmen to die from exhaustion. The site picked on a vast lava plain is a pilot and controller's dream. 18 kilometers from Nairobi's core, Eastleigh and Wilson are closer, its approaches are clear for at least 18 kilometers in any direction. Sir Evelyn Baring, Kenya's last colonial governor, opened Mbakasi Airport now Jomo Kenyatta International Airport on March 9, 1958. Number 7. Hergada International Airport in Egypt. Hergada, which is located 5 km southwest of El Daha, can accommodate up to 7.5 million passengers per year. This places it as the seventh busiest airport in the world and the second busiest in Egypt, after Cairo. Passengers arriving on leisure flights from Europe arrive at one of the airport's two passenger terminals. Number 6. Huari Baumijin Airport, Algeria. Huari Baumijin is an airport in Algiers that was established in 1924 as Maison Blanche Airport. It was named after a former Algerian president and has a passenger capacity of 7.5 million per year. The Algiers Airport has been in operation for decades, enhancing its prestige. Maison Blanche Airport was a primary target when the Allies launched Operation Torch Eastern Task Force on November 8, 1942. A combination of U.S. Army battalions, British commandos, and sections of a British infantry division took control of the airport. Admiral Darlan in Algiers ordered the Vichy French forces defending the airport to cease all hostilities in North Africa the next day, and the airport defenses were demolished the next day. 
Under the command of squadron leader Michael Rook, the Hawker Hurricane aircraft of No. 43 Squadron Royal Air Force landed at Maison Blanche just after 11 a.m. on November 8 and promptly began offensive patrols the next day. The 43rd Squadron remained in Maison Blanche until March 13, 1943, when it was deployed to Gemapes, France. Number 5. Mohammed V International Airport, Morocco. Located in Nouassa province, roughly 30 kilometers southeast of Casablanca in Morocco, Mohammed V International Airport is a cosmopolitan landing strip with a diverse passenger and cargo terminal. Mohammed V International Airport is the sixth busiest airport in Africa in 2021, with three terminals handling a total of 10,306,293 passengers. Mohammed V International Airport serves as a hub for Morocco's national airlines, Royal Air Maroc, Ram Express, and Air Arabic, which fly to a variety of locations across the world. Number 4. Cape Town International Airport, Cape Town, South Africa. With its breathtaking scenery, world-class sandy beaches, and thriving nightlife, Cape Town is a popular tourist destination among South Africans. It is as a result of this that Cape Town International Airport continues to be the principal gateway for travelers visiting the city and its surroundings, resulting in Cape Town International being one of the most active airports in South Africa in terms of passenger activity. It is the second most popular after Oliver Tambo. An estimated 24 airlines fly in and out of Cape Town International Airport daily, with flights to more than 100 destinations across the world. In 2020, 10,979,946 people went through Cape Town International Airport, making it the country's second busiest airport after Johannesburg International Airport. It is simple to get to the landing strip because it is served by a fully-fledged bus service dubbed a Masaiti, which has many buses arriving and departing from the facility. Number 3. Ethiopia's Bowl International Airport. Ethiopia's Bowl International Airport is ranked number 8. Addis Ababa is the capital of Ethiopia. Bowl International is in Ethiopia's Bowl district. It is the country's largest airport, housing Ethiopian Airlines, the country's principal airline that flies across Africa with 923 weekly departures. North America, Asia, South America, and Europe are among the regions that Bowl supports. Bowl handles around 12 million visitors each year. Number 2. Cairo International Airport, Egypt. Cairo International Airport is Africa's second largest airport, with a footprint of 37 square kilometers. It is also Egypt's largest and busiest airport, serving major carriers such as Egypt Air and Nile Air. It has four terminals and serves around 15 million passengers each year. Number 1. Oliver Tambo International Airport, South Africa. The Oliver Tambo International Airport in South Africa is the continent's largest and busiest airport. It is located in the city center of Johannesburg. This landing port, named for Mzanzi's historical founding father, Oliver Reginald Tambo, is served by various airlines that fly to Antarctica and seven other continents. According to statistics given by Airports Council International, over 21 million passengers fly through Oliver Tambo International Airport each year. It has a yearly capacity of 28 million passengers, putting it at the top of the list of Africa's largest airports. Because of the enormous number of passengers, the Oliver Tambo International Airport landing strip frequently has lengthier lines. It's not the worst place to be stuck because the Oliver Tambo International Airport has fantastic duty-free shopping, a wide range of excellent restaurants, and cafes. To transport travelers inside the Gorting province, the airfield provides a world-class train and bus shuttle service. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.